now that we're into the heat of summer, it's a really good time to make sure that you have some mulch on all of your garden spaces. And lawn clippings are a really good way to use up a resource that we have in our yards already, and it's inexpensive to use in our gardens. As you're mowing the lawn, you can bring bags of lawn clippings and dump it on your grass. And then once you finish the lawn mowing project, come back to the gardens and spread that mulch across the various gardens. One of the things that you want to consider when you're using lawn clippings that if you use a weed killer or something like weed and feed on your lawn, you'd want to check the label on the product that you've used. The active ingredient in those chemicals won't, won't discriminate between weeds and the plants that we want in our gardens and it can kill anything that's a broadleaf plant. So you'd want to wait at least a few mowings but follow the label instructions on how long you have to wait before the grass is safe to use in your gardens. When you're putting the lawn clippings on the garden, you can just dump them all in one place. But then, once you get down to putting the mulch around each individual plant, you want to make sure that you don't get more than about a two inch layer around the plants. You want to make sure that you keep the mulch away from the crown of your plants or about two inches away from the trunks of trees and shrubs. For the University of Wyoming Extension, this has been Donna Quinn from The Ground Up.